Hey you, yeah you, are you tired of sucking in Iken 9? Well me too, but guess what? I'm gonna teach you how to crush it! Buckle up, buttercup, cause we're gonna turn you into an Iken 9 legend. Pew 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 pew! Look at this, we are back! Iken 9, returning I guess from Trost, and we've got Inashiro Industrial is our squad. You all voted, I agreed, it was gonna be a great choice. But I got a little bit of surprise for you guys. You guys might have saw if you saw the community post. Shout out to you if you did see the community post. But we picked up the old crew that was in episode 50 of Trost. And this is the team that we're starting out with. Serena, aka Red Mud. Look at that. Just look at Serena. 424 as a first year. Yes, you're right. This is the new Otani. OB. We had to, we had to start with the Otani build. What we're going to be doing for this, we, we told you kind of at the jump what this is going to be but the whole goal of this series is i'm just going to be playing through trying to teach you all the intricacies of icon because i know a lot of you can get really good squads you get 600 700 players but you know what we're going to try and help you guys get 800 900 players on repeat so first business uh we have some items that carried over um, i already used one of the tickets though to raise the ground level so it's up to five but this is all we got right now. But priority wise, what we were trying to do is raise this level up as much as possible. We just got to win games. Um, but I think we can do that because Serena um, is going to be real special for us. Uh, Serena actually, or no one on the team, has gotten a boost or any books. Because I don't have any books. The books didn't carry over. I had a ton. I had what Pump would call the Library of Alexandria. <laughs> Uh, here is our calendar. Our calendar is uh, our progress here, our new manager here. She has uh, created a schedule for us. Uh, and uh, basically, over time, we're going to have to change it based off of the type of players we have. But we're fine where we're at just now. Uh, gold here is kind of like your, your, your biggest uh, improvements. Uh, you've got blue, which is the lowest, and then green, which is like in the middle. And so really you want to try, here's what you want to do. When you land on a yellow space, um, basically you get practice efficiency go up. Blue, when you land on blue, there in the schedule, it's kind of like a, a random positive event. White is a random event. And then you don't see red here, but red is a negative event. And you want to avoid those at all costs. There's a couple things in your inventory you can try and do to use those to make sure that doesn't happen so we're gonna just get progressing and and you guys will kind of see because uh, i'll talk about as we go what i'm actually thinking about and considering so now we can hit this five uh, and this is going to hit us on gold so we're actually going to do that see if our practice efficiency goes up a little bit Let's see if anyone got some gains this little sp space right here that baseball bat uh, so if i go one space here and then if i hit this five it's going to take me to these this uh, learn ability square and so i'll explain what happens when you're there so we are here so basically i get to choose between mccree shockey serena who is going to um, potentially get a new ability but see the little little guy there that is purple and he has his back to me his head towards me that means uh they're not in a good mood that means that the percentage at which they're going to be able to learn this ability is is low like 20 percent really unfortunately 20 percent chance here uh really uh and then if we look at the stars how difficult it is to learn like this right here is like near impossible really i mean probably our best bet is probably a uh, heavy ball at two is probably the best I think we could probably, so heavy ball, we can give heavy ball a shot. We're probably not going to make it though. Let's see. So, no, we did not. So if I pull that up. You can see everybody here. Uh, basically, we get to focus on what their training is. Now, here's what I do. I basically start out and I just do everybody pitch speed. I'm like hard on pitch speed for all the pitchers to start out. I want to get everybody to about you know kind of that 160 mark 150 to 160 serena's already up there really solid still gonna have serena get to 160 um and then uh you just get a little bit of advantage from there you don't really need to have control and stamina that great to start you can get away with bees um you can even get away with what serena has just now so basically i 
uh, really for the first part of the year, I do top speed first and all that. Now for position players, it really comes down to the, um, the type of uh, personality they have. So you've got Crichton here, um, who is, what is this kind of like normal personality or what is it, uh, fussy or something like that. Um, and each personality ha is better at different skills. I think maybe I can share a guide uh, on on what what um, specific personalities uh, are best. But one thing you want to do right now, regardless of personality, right out of the gate, raise that trajectory up to, to twos for everybody. And everyone that's a two, you want to get that two at three at least. Um, so AC, you get yours to a three. Higgins, get yours up. Mo, get yours up. Uh, actually, now that I think about that, we needed Shockey to be able to play second, right? So, um, cause we're moving him to second. So we're actually, uh, this is training him to be a second baseman. And I think that's everything we needed. We got our outfield is set. Uh, Andrew, AC Higgins. Uh, we had Peeper at short or no Drox is at short. Can Peeper. Okay. So then does that mean then Peeper needs to play third? I cannot remember. No, we had, so we had Tyler at third, I believe. Yeah, and then Shockey is gonna play two. Xander in the waiting. Drox is gonna play short, I believe. Either Drox at 172, Peebor, yeah. So I think Drox, we need to make sure he was better at short as like a primary position. See there, he's not basically, it's an F and D at second. So we just need to make sure he's better shortstop. And then we had McCree uh, sitting on the bench. Um, but then Lammer is actually playing first. Um, McCree's going to be pretty good. I, I think we're probably going to want him to play outfield uh, eventually. So I'm actually going to train him on outfield right now. All right. So those are kind of like the, the needs to do right now. Oh, great. And we need to make sure you get better trajectory. Okay. So now we've got that. Now let's go through. Okay. Jones, he's already level three. We need him to be a hitter for us. We need people that can get hits. Lammers, we need you to be able to hit. Uh, Tyler, let's make you a better hitter. Um, and I think that's it for now. Okay. So there's, uh, there it is. First training set done. Um, and now, now we, now we go. Okay. So, all right, here we go. So we got a five card with a, uh, you see that little yellow dot, um, basically talking about that practice. It means we're going to use, uh, our equipment uh, to increase practice e efficiency and we're landing on a yellow. So this actually might hopefully get us some good boosts to uh, some ratings here. Uh, so I'll show you what that looks like here. Great. See, look at that. So look at all that. So a lot of, a lot of increases in arms chase went up, uh, and speed in one. We had Crichton, Tyler Martinez. Um, uh, but we do have, uh, another ability here square. Let's see. Drox, Tyler, they all have no credibility and they're all level, level three. So that's not good. So I think uh, let's try and at least maybe Tyler since he's the highest rated. Okay, so Tyler, what can, what's probably most likely for him, him to hit? There's home rush, there's bad ball. Bad ball hitting actually might be interesting. Um, yeah, I don't think he has the potential to hit anything else. So bad ball hitting is gonna be what we do here. Uh, at one, hopefully he can learn it. Hey, he did. All right. So here, uh, he's got that bad ball hitting, which is that blue and red, uh, ability right there, um, because it's good, but he's going to swing at balls. Um, but he's gonna be able to hit those balls. All right. So this card right here, this is the spectate card. So we do not have any idols. Like we don't have any managers, um, that have left our school and graduated and come back to be idols. So this probably doesn't have an application for us just yet, but in the future, this is one of the most important cards that you can get here um, because it gives you the next practice that you have. Um, it increases your practice efficiency. All right. So if you see this, this, uh, you know, see these little five squares underneath their names where it's green, yellow, yellow. Uh, some of them have two, some three. This means uh, basically their physical energy. Uh, this has an effect on how good. Uh, how many points and how effective their practices are. Ideally, you want to keep this thing full 
if you land on green spaces, it uh, basically re replenishes one of these squares. We're going to use this here, and then we're going to increase our practice efficiency after this. Okay, so I see a green up there we want to try and land on. Let's see who we, uh, who we go against in this first game. First inaugural practice game here in June. Uh, and let's control Serena. So now we're going to get into tactics. Basically... This is how you play the game and I'll show you and talk you through how to level up your players the best you can so they can make the most points. Whatever player you're trying to work on, your it doesn't need to be your best player, but whatever player you want to uh, gain the most practice points, you have to control that player as much as possible uh, because you get extra points when you control the person and then when you use specific tactics in the game, which I'll explain, um, you you get boost um in points so basically i'm going to try and use serena as much as possible i'm trying to get her to 999 um and i'm i don't know if we're i'm not confident we'll be able to do that based off of the zero grand ground level start um but we'll see we'll see so practice game coming up we got a weak team so hopefully that's not going to matter all right so now we're getting serena on the mound so basically what you want to do is the center uh one of the hardest points to get in the game is uh points when you're trying to learn new pitches uh so basically what i'll try and do is um uh, i will try and go over to tactics so this is the center of the uh changing curve basically this is like off speed pitches throwing off speed pitches and then this is fastball pitches. So basically, you like every every at bat, you want to choose between these two, but you want to look at the where you have the highest numbers here. So basically, inside pitch, uh, throw a strike. R threes for me. You do you don't want to use this card. This is like omakase. Like the player decides. You get the lowest amount of points from that. You should choose the tactics that you want. If you're choosing one of these, uh, you want to do fastball if you're gonna uh if you have a high uh breaking ball here that's i have a two here but if i had a, had a higher one then i would actually choose this um, basically that's going to give you the most amount of uh, points possible between these two this is the the highest points you want to do this every single um at bat when you're pitching so uh, i'm gonna go inside here and i actually messed up there we go. All right, and so I'll speed it up so it goes through it fast. And then there we go. So unfortunately, that's a hit. And you want to tap the cheers because when you do the cheers, you have a chance of uh, one of the cards going up one level. So see how all these are three? This one's now four. It's likely because there's a probability because I max out the cheering. So it can be a little, <laughs> a little tedious, but I promise it does actually do something. So... All right, back here. All right. Oh, no, Tyler. All right, at least we get an out. Okay, we got two. Gosh, I forgot, guys, how rough this th this can be. Oh, man, it's been a while since I've had a team like this, so hopefully I don't get too frustrated. But come on, Serena. Hopefully Serena can carry us. All right, Drox, make a play. All right, there we have it. So we got out of it. No no run scored, and now we're going to go hit. But, of course, we get uh, nothing back on the mound here going back throwing fastballs throwing heat 160 kilometers per hour Tyler makes a play all right so we got we got one out okay let's go away pitch now oh no okay that's gonna that's not falling come on Serena no runs there K huge K all right so now we got four uh, this is basically dance around the corners. Like I said, this is a throw strike. So we're actually going to, I don't know if Serena has the best control to be able to do this, but we're going to try. Let's get, let's get it here. Oh, two K's in a row looking now. Hitless so far. They actually know they have one hit now. We have three. All right. So now we got some off speeds. So this guy's probably more vulnerable to off speed pitches. And there we have it. 3-1. Come on, Serena. Get him. Uh, nope. This is it. Oh, no. That's uh, one of the bad things about the 
uh, those pitches because or the basically throwing off speed because throw more balls, but it's worth it to get the points. Oh, she's just dotting people up. Let's go. The fastball is it's too it's too too strong right now. It might have to carry us for a while until we can get her leveling up. All right, and then here's low ball. Let's do the low ball. Let's see if we can get another out. There we did. Shocky makes a play. All right, we're out of it. So you're going to give only one hit so far. Okay, finally, Jones is up. He's in red mood. He's he's happy. Okay, now we're going to use our ability card here. So now on offense, basically, it's a similar story. Basically, right here is basically like a player decide. Um, but basically here, it's like you want to hit for power or hit for contact. Uh, and then this is aggressiveness. So this is like balanced. This is, um, uh, well, sorry, this is careful. This is like balance and this is like really aggressive. So if you have a power hitter, which right now we don't cause Jones is F, but you basically want to do these two cause these will be aggressive hitting power hitting, uh, and you get big points for that, but it's okay actually to be do aggressive hitting and then do contact uh, or meet. Um, and that'll give you big points too. So basically every, just like pitching every at bat, you're going to need to select one of these options based off the type of hitter you got. Uh, you could leave it if you want, but you're just not going to get the points, um, that you're going to be happy with. Now going to these for some reason, I found that when you do a fly ball up the middle, it doesn't really work out that much. Sometimes you can get uh, hit away and pull. But for some reason, this ground ball up the middle is like the card I probably hit 80% of the time because for it for whatever reason, I feel that it cheeses the computer and it's always get hits. So like that, uh, we didn't there, um, but you know, oftentimes you just see ground, ground ball uh, parade up the middle for hits, 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 hits. And then when you get a power guy up, then you swing for the gold here. All right, Serena back. Let's try and get some more off speed action in. Great. A lot of K's so far. Five. Love it. Hopefully, she's going to get big points this game. All right. Lammers makes a play. And we're out of the inning yet again. Still zeros. All right, Tyler. Pink mood. <laughs> Can he make it happen? All right. So we're going to hit this. This means, look at that. He's got S power now. Top right. So we're going to be, we're swinging hard. Oh, just a little bit behind that, but that's, that's big. Okay. Unfortunately he's swinging through there. He might K. Oh my gosh. It worked. Look at that bomb three run knock. So that's what you, I mean, that's what you want to do guys. Like if you can time the, the pop in the card, like the, that's why the hot blooded hot blooded is one of the better personalities because uh, when you hit that fire card, you get uh, S power. All right, so Drox, let's see if we can keep it going here. Let's. Um, okay, we could do five, which is hit a, hit the opposite field. Uh, I'm not too confident in his squeeze bunt, so I just really hope he doesn't hit into a ground play. No double play, please. Come on, Drox. Ah, uh, that might not be deep enough. Oh, I guess it. Will. Oh, wow! Look at that arm. Nice. Serena gets in, scores 4-0. And now we're we're sitting pretty. We're comfortable. It's a practice game, so we actually might uh throw in some of the first years to get some get some action. Alright, Serena though, like I said, we want to keep having her dialed, get as many points as possible. Angie makes a play. And okay, more more fastballs. Okay, jeez. What is that, like 8K or something like that? Yeah, 6. Okay, bad math, but there you go. There you go. Okay, good, good ground ball double play. So that's what I chose here, the glove. Hopefully trying to influence a double play there. We got it. Our field is just not good enough, guys. They're just not good enough. Can we do another? Can we get two ground balls in a row? Hopefully get a double play. Oh my gosh, Shocky. How can you not get to that? God, these guys so bad right now oh no all right i guess we gotta throw strikes the second batter catcher oh okay all right come on jones hey we got the k though all right so we're gonna close it out can't rely on your team 
Dang it. Okay. Higgins. Okay, base is juiced. Four hitter. Serena is now tired. Um, okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to do a mound visit. So here's what happens when you do a mound visit. Basically, there's you can get an improvement uh, to your pitcher based on the mound visit. So this one is uh, defense. If you look at the very bottom, you see the, uh, the text is changing. This is defense. You get a bump to defense. So if I send Chase, defense, Martinez, defense. This is stamina. So DC will give her S stamina. McCree defense, AC stamina. Um, for Mo Jr., it looks like uh, uh, mood will go up one, so it'll go from yellow to red. Defense, same mood again. Uh, and then this one's contact, so, or sorry, control. So really, every we, we have everything, which is good, but right now we need uh, stamina. So we're gonna send DC. Stamina now goes up, as you can see here. She's got B, B stamina, uh, so went from B to C. So hopefully she can uh, close out this inning and then uh, we'll maybe throw another pitcher. Jones, come on, guy. Let's go. Okay, get it. Oh, all right, I think I feel good here. Look at that, so you need to make some plays. Okay, she's probably gassed now though. I don't know, she's good. It's good. Let's keep it going. Still, uh, no runs. Love it. Oh, no. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a play. Who's at first? Lammers? Jeez. I thought for sure that was a knock. Okay. All right. Drox is up here. Thick boy Drox, our shortstop. He's not fast enough. To oh, he almost ran it out. What a guy. All right, Shockey. Shockey's a shy player. Wow, I didn't. Even, I didn't even look at anyone's personality. Uh, so he's got the luck there, the the clover. So, okay, there it is. That's exactly what you want with that ground ball up the middle card. I'm telling you. All right, Jones went out. Do we squeeze? Oh gosh, so bad. One. He can't do anything. Hit and run. He can bunt. That's not. It's not. It's not even a squeeze. It's like a safety squeeze. I guess hit it deep. Go deep, my man. Oh, that actually might have worked. This actually, he probably did hit a... a oh, no. Oh, I can't believe it. 5-0. Let's go. Great start. The E. That ball was very high, though. So, All right, so this, the Gears uh, card, actually gives you a boost to uh, contact. So Higgins is now up to B contact. It's great. So, mm, what do we want to do? Here we go. Come on, Higgins. Can't K here. Higgins. Gosh. Okay. Andrew's already already popping, but let's see if we can. Okay. Four. There it is. Great. Hey, can we get seven here? Can we actually get the mercy? Now we can't. It's too late in the game uh, to do it. Crichton Jr. I'm, I'm glad you guys get to see everybody. So this one is Chance Maker goes up. Everyone's mood goes up. Um, uh, let's see here. Or no, that's the that's the uh, the Mega Horn. That's just a Chance goes up a little bit. Okay, Crichton mm, does not. All right, we're going to the nine, I believe. Yep, six zero. Serena still dealing. Let's see. Oh, through the wickets. Okay, hey, we can get a double play here. I'm okay with that. But here's what we're going to do. So now we're going to increase our mood here by one. So now see that Serena's up to a red, which is great. So for this inning, she's just going to deal even more. Uh, mood. Oh, come on. You got to throw strikes, though. Mood really matters a lot for pitchers. Uh, they throw faster. Have greater contact. Yep, touch third, throw it across. Let's go, tie. Oh, that was so close. Perfect, get that lead runner out. There it is, okay, roll it. Oh my, did Sh I, Shockey almost threw there. I, I thought he was running the third. I was like, what the heck is he doing? All right, close it out, Serena. No runs. Just give me one strike. You got it. Okay, make a play, Shock. Oh, he dies in the first, and that's a GG practice game in Oshiro. 6-0. What a start. 
What a great start to the series. Trust, I, I feel like it took us a year to get a W of Trust, and we, we had Otani then, so... This is great. So here, so uh, now we get to see post game um, everybody's improvements. Not as much as I'd like. It is just a practice game, but Serena's control went to fifty one to fifty two. Cree's power went up. He had um, Xander's contact went up. Let's see anyone notable? Tyler's uh, contact went from fifty eight to fifty nine. Yeah, there you have it. All right. And we're now uh, on our path uh, to actually, we got about a month till the uh, summer uh, prefecture tournament, um, you know, where we're going to get into it. And so I think until then, what we're going to do is we're going to keep pushing forward. We're going to keep pushing forward, get there, and then just see uh, how things are going to look. Okay, this is asking, do we want to do training camp? We do want to do a training camp. That's going to happen in between the summer prefecture and the um, summer Koshien if we make it, uh, which is like that J July, late July, August time period. Okay, let's see if we can get our, our physical strength up a little bit. Okay, and so now we've got practice boost on this one because we did spectation. All right, so now we do the lottery. Let's see. We do not want that B team because that'll be a short run for us. We're gonna pick this first card. Oh no, Why did we got him, didn't we? No. Okay, so we're E, we're gonna put a D team. Um, we're gonna meet a B team eventually. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that works for us, but there it is. So here in what, like first week of July. So no, June 29th or something like that. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, or just what? No, July 2nd or something like that. Fourth of July weekend. Uh, and yeah, so let's get there real quick. Let's take a look at where we're kind of at here. Okay. So still working on speed here. Serena's went up from 50 to 53, which is great. On out to 438. Um, I think we'll probably do. We'll probably do control here for her. Everyone else will just keep doing speed. Um, okay, Crichton's still working on trajectory. Jones, gosh, Jones is only one up like three, four. It was rough. Um, we may have to just have him be a great catcher. I don't know if he's going to be that good of a. Yeah, we can't have him all those balls going past balls anymore. And that, that's going to bother me. Okay, Stapleton, fine. We'll probably actually have to start him getting better defensively too. Lammers, fine. K okay, McCree. Uh, Drox, still. Okay. Okay, Xander, fine. Tyler up to 70s. So he's one of our better hitters. Shockey's got the four. Just so bad defensively, but let's work on power a little bit since he's already D. Pbert, let's get let's get his air resistance up. There's catching, uh, and then Andrew. Still working on that trajectory. We'll keep it going. AC, let's do power because he's close. Higgins, fine. Mo, fine. Okay, there it is. All right, so we've got our big game coming up here against the D team to start off the uh, Summer Prefecture Tournament here for the Inoshiro Industrial Icon 9, I Teach You Icon 9 series. I'm going to call it here for this first one. Hopefully this is uh, helpful. This is going to be the format I'm going to do it. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to me to do it any differently. Um, but yeah, so thanks uh, for watching. Until the next one, we'll see you. Peace.